Hey, it looks like we are live! Hello, hello, Sharfers! Alright, hey y'all. I'm uh, so sorry for what's about to happen right Same. Alright, so this is uh, this is Bing Yuan Li Zhan Ji 2. That is my best effort at that pronunciation. It's Ice Age Adventures 2. Um, <laughs> and it's like a... It's a Chinese bootleg, I guess. Um, I know almost nothing about this game other than sort of how to beat it. Um, so I'm definitely hoping that, bro, you have some uh, some fun lore for us. Yeah, I'll tell you all about the stupid mammoth and the 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 dumb sloth. Yeah, dumb dumb sloth. All right. <laughs> That's all, all right. I've got for you. Okay. <laughs> I am sorry. This is I am. So a little bit of background, we're way ahead of schedule, so this is like a, a fun little bonus game, and I have not practiced this game in like two months. So we are going to see what happens. All right, so yeah. I'll start right about uh, now. All right, so here we go. We are Sid, the I don't know what kind of animal he is. And we are playing, uh... <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, we're playing this. So yeah, you've seen about, I don't know, 10 seconds of gameplay, and you've seen basically every single mechanic in the game. So... I'm so sorry. Yes, uh, the the blocks, there, there are actually some really interesting things, like you can turn enemies into ice, because yeah. that's the power of the sloth. Yeah. Oh, he's a sloth. Okay, yes. I have. I, I saw the. I saw the Ice Age movie many moons ago in the theater, and never again since then. It's overrated. Okay, it's kind of a crappy movie. I, I didn't. Gotta be honest. I didn't love it either, honestly. But I was probably a little too old for no, it when it came out. This is like the. You, you know how everybody has a 3D movie that, that that they saw way too many times because of a younger sibling? Oh my gosh, This yes. is one of them. Uh, this is the movie for me, and like, the first time I saw it, it was good, and then after that, no. No, I do not like this movie. I don't care for Ice Age, and yeah, we're stuck with Ice Age for a little while longer. <laughs> so, so a little background on why I'm playing this. I got this, uh, I drew this in Cusa Grande last year. Jeff, XVX, uh, Gave us out as a as a two pointer game uh, because he hates us. Um, I, I went the wrong way. <laughs> no, I didn't. I went the right way. And uh, I I watched uh, I watched the vod back, and eighty percent of that is you complaining about Ice Age from what I remember of that vod. Oh, I yeah yeah yeah. I've got a lot of complaints. Okay. We'll get uh, we'll get to first them. First off, <laughs> yeah. Do not do not make a baby the main star. That's my biggest complaint about the movie. I don't know if you guys heard that grinding noise, but get used to it, because every time I open a door, that's the noise it makes. Oh, I'm so excited. I, I, I can't really hear too much of the audio, but I'm turning it on every once in a while just to hear. Honestly, the music for a bootleg is not half bad. Uh, it's, it's a little bit inappropriate, obviously. Well, it's this solid. is like it's circus music. Like, this is circus music, obviously. But, uh, yeah, it's really easy to have good music when you steal it. <laughs> yeah, there are there are hunters in this game, and the hunters are the worst uh, enemy in the game for several reasons. Uh, I should maybe talk about, eventually talk about the uh, the mechanics in the game. Um, yeah, Brave Little Toaster oh, is mine as well. sure. Um, so this is the first auto-scroller of, of the game. Uh, there are four worlds plus uh, a boss rush at the end of the game. Every world has two non-auto-scrolling levels, and then a third auto-scrolling level, and then a boss at the end of it. So three of the four auto-scrollers are a minimum of six and a half minutes long. I hope y'all like falling asleep, because uh, you get this really perky music here. <laughs> uh, this, is definitely the w this is definitely the worst, um, this is the only time, this is the only place where I could die, and I did. Nope, I'm dead. Ah, we'll try again this time. So, luckily... That, that happens. That was very early in the level, anyway. That's the only difficult jump. That's the most difficult jump in the game, actually. Um, but, yeah. So, th they're six and a half minutes long, and there are no... Uh, <laughs> um, no checkpoints. So, if I die at the end of a six-minute auto-scroller, 
uh, we just lose six minutes. Uh, I have, yeah. uh, I'm, fortunately I, I had to resort to playing this on, um, on emulator because, um, my, the ROM of my EverDrive kept crashing when I was practicing this five minutes ago. Um, oh, it happened again, darn. Uh, what happens is that when you jump, sometimes you, you create too much lag and the game doesn't give you enough height on your jump. There it is. Nope, I died again. We're doing it again. What? No, so, no, no. Fine. Uh, so anyway, uh, so there are no, there are no, uh, checkpoints, and they're very bad. This is the worst music of the three long auto-scrollers, I will say that. The other two, no. <laughs> World 2's music is also pretty bad, honestly. World 4's music is quite good, though. If I'm not mistaken, during Kusa Grande, when we had the match, most people were on this level for, like, the hour. Uh, yeah, so three of the four people who ran it got stuck on this level for, like, over 40 minutes. And... Uh, including the person, including, including the person running the audio. So this is what y'all heard for like 50 minutes. Uh, yeah, I know. There it is. I I'm very it. much aware because this this is now in my soul. Yeah, part of the music did despawn. You 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 you, you, you got have, the jump. I got the jump. Uh, so yeah, so what you're gonna want to do in the auto scrollers, the general rule of thumb is to just stay as high as you can. Um, because sometimes you have these really tall buildings that you can't uh, get up, get up on unless you you know are on in the correct area. So just always stay. Karaoke was one was one of the people in my Cusa Grande match. There you go. Um, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it, this game is so hard. But it's, it's actually really difficult. It's because yeah. it's bootleg. Um, so the, there are two ways. There are three ways to die in this game. Uh, on the regular levels, you can die by losing all your hearts. You lose a heart every time you, uh, they're right there on the screen next to, um, next to Sid's face. Uh, you have four hearts to start with. If you lose all your hearts, you die. Uh, you saw the other way yeah. you can die on an auto-scroller, which is touching any part of the left side of the screen. So if your little pinky toenail touches the very edge of the left side of the screen, then you automatically die. It's instant death. And then you can, there are, and there are also instant death pits in some of the levels later on. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, uh, and the rest of the stuff you guys kind of figured out, um, it's A to jump, you know, and, uh, B is swipe, and if you swipe at an enemy, you, they become a, a block of ice, and, uh, and then if you jump twice with that block of ice in your hand, you have a double jump, which is a required mechanic, a very important oh, yeah. required mechanic. And you can swipe at these red boys right here, these guys, the little button boys, and they, uh, and then you can hang on to them, and you can watch Sid's booty kind of like, you know sway back and forth the problem with that is that the booties the booty sway there it causes lag <laughs> uh the, a big a big part of the speed uh. run of this game other than figuring out where to go and not forgetting and not dying is uh lag reduction so uh, enemies cause lag uh sid's walking animation causes lag sid holding an enemy causes lag uh everything causes lag um the reason i mentioned that the hunter is the worst enemy not only because not only is it because he's actually like a difficult enemy with a projectile, but that projectile itself also causes lag, and him shooting it also causes <laughs> lag. Oh no! So yeah, as soon as he shoots it, you're just you're you're down. You're yeah, losing so frames. I'm, I'm losing frames, and I'm also probably getting hit because uh, if you swipe on a lag frame, then you don't get collision. So what? Yeah. Oh no. So it's, it, it, you end up with very interesting things, but also if you if you um, if you're within a certain range of pixels, I've I have no way too much about this game. If you if you're within a certain range of pixels from the enemy, then they can't hit you. If you're on a lag frame too, it's a whole it's a whole fun little thing. Yeah, yo dog, I heard you like lag, so we put some lag in your lag for extra lag. See uh, the. You know, people make fun of a lot of the Nintendo Seal of Quality games, but this is what people got without the Seal of Quality. This is what, yeah, this is why Nintendo had that, okay? Because you could have been playing Ice Age. Yes. Yeah, uh, so this, this yeah, one. This is on Ice Age. Game Boy Color. Yeah, this is Ice Age Adventures 2. That's the that's the translation. This is a Chinese bootleg. So you yeah, saw it's a you, sequel. So you saw a lot of things just happen there. Uh, uh, you have these fun swaying platforms. We will see them many more times in the future. I'm gonna get hit in the face. Goodbye. And um, what happens is that on an auto scroller, all the platforms move faster than the screen. 
Um, and as a result, if you land on a platform that's moving left to right, um, you're gonna end up on the side of the screen and you're actually gonna get pushed off the platform. And if you hit left or right while you're in that state, you immediately fall straight down because it realizes that you're not actually on the platform. And so the way to combat that is to hit jump first and then go left and right. And I just want to mention that because I think it's stupid. I know that somebody in chat is saying that Counterpoint LJN had the seal of quality from Nintendo. LJN um, games I'm going to go ahead and say that LJN games are really not nearly as bad as a lot of other games out there. I know, strong, strong opinion. So, I, I feel like uh, AVGN, the Angry Video Game Nerd, is kind of partly, partially to blame for this, because that's I think that's where a lot of LGN's notoriety comes from. Um, and yes, I agree. A lot of a lot of LGN games, a lot of them are kind of janky. So Uncanny X Men is actually really, cool. but um, they actually have video game logic. Okay. Yeah, like uh, some of the like... game, most of the games are playable. Let's put it that way. There are games I dislike. I don't like Beetlejuice or X Men or whatever, but. <laughs> I mean, playable. I love giving people Beetlejuice, but yeah, it's it's bad. Fun fact: in the this year, in this year's Cusa Grande, where I got eliminated, NPC was uh, the game master, and he wanted to give out Uncan Uncan X Men, but I'm the one who vetoed it, and instead we had to play Dually Bravo Land, and I regret not lying oh, about having played no. X Men. <laughs> yeah, Dually Bravo Land is barely controllable. It's oh. really bad. I think this game is actually more controllable than Duty Bravo Land, honestly. I had a lot less trouble with this game than I had with that game. I died because I ran out of health. Wow. No! Uh, we're gonna skip the rest of that level. Because I don't yes. Um, so... Uh, ex uh, we're gonna exit this level. Alright, so... 2-1, let's go! Yeah! I wasn't paying attention to my health. It's that's... No no longer RTA, but that's fine. This, uh, there's no, there's no, like, speedrun.com anything about this. Uh, there's no, there's no, I'm the only person I've ever seen even complete the game, so, um, I'm not super concerned about that. There was, like, uh, one minute left in that auto-scroller, and it was just my fault for not paying attention to my health. Um, had I paid attention, we were right at the end. So, uh, this is 2-1. We skipped a boss as well. Uh, we could actually have played the boss if we, if we wanted to. But the bosses are really trivial, so they eat, they all take three hits, and you have four hit points, so you just tank damage and throw the projectile that they give you at them. Do I remember where to go? Mm, I think I do. It's not this way. It's, it's the other way. <laughs> so this is I love uh, th it. This is me being rusty. This is just me not remembering the game. Um, let me go down this way. All right, we figured it out. Uh, yeah. So you can thank Qual for this, because uh, this is this was very much sprung on me, uh, and so I haven't had a lot of time to remember where everything is. Qual. So yeah, exclamation point blame in chat, y'all. I remember this. We need to <laughs> grab this bird, get on this uh, cycling platform. Um, I, I have I have the DMs to prove it. <laughs> um, oh, the lag, it's killer. Yeah, it's really bad. And sometimes, yeah, so again, if you also hit these guys, oh, that's a whole thing we haven't explained. So these little guys, these, uh, these little pedestals, they basically, are uh, the way to unlock the doors, and the doors are the ones that let you, you know, go through the level to get to, like, the key and whatnot. So, what I did there was I unlocked this door to get to this key, and yes, and this game does not have a game on Twitch, so we're, we're playing Retro Garbage, and we're just gonna go right here. Uh, when I was practicing this earlier, that door despawned, and so I had to die and try again. Wait, it despawned? Yeah, so I've been. I, so this game does have some despawn problems. Every once in a while, an enemy or whatever will despawn. Um, and in one level in four two, there's a really common despawn that causes you to um, it causes you to have to try to do the whole level over again because you can't you can't get a double jump anywhere. You're basically soft locked. This is not the worst bootleg, but it's a very tedious game to play, unfortunately, especially in a marathon setting. <laughs> I love it, yeah. Do I have the key? Uh, mm -hmm. 
yeah, this is this is definitely not a, a fun game. Like, here's the deal, you know, people were saying Silver Surfer's bad, but it's at least fun. Silver Surfer's really fun. it's at least completable. Yeah, Silver like, Surfer's really fun, actually. Yeah, it's really got like issues. It's got huge issues, but it's actually kind of fun to play, even if it does make you angry. This game, uh, <laughs> it's, the thing is, it's a real struggle to get through and you just feel like you want to do stuff and you just can't because it's bootleg you know you try to do jumps you try to try to attack at certain times you try to have crafty maneuvers but you can't do any of it because it just doesn't work see no matter what i i was gonna get hit there and hit there no matter what i just had never had a chance we're also gonna be introduced to the uh first uh uh example of a uh of a temporarily opening door. It's this this guy right here, so you can see that's flashing. So this door that just opened is now temporarily unlocked. That means yeah. is that if it takes me too long to get that key, that door will close behind me and I'm soft locked. And I have to exit out of the level. Are you, you could, serious? You could this it happened to me in Cusa Grande. Uh luckily, uh, you can just hit select and, and exit any stage you want. So this is uh this is auto scroller number two. This is the hardest of the four auto scrollers. And has the worst music, in my opinion. Well, oh, let me let me listen. Yeah, this is a Klonoa knockoff, I guess. That's, that's punches. This is this is an Ice Age game. This is that's Sid from Ice Age. This is Sid the Sloth. Ice okay, Age. Okay, this adventure. music is pretty bad. This is really bad. Yeah, so this is the worst music in the whole game. Uh, it only goes up from here. Ori stole... Or, or, Ori stole mechanics from this game, confirmed. Alright. Yeah, the... Yeah, the, the dots that you have to use. I don't I don't remember what mechanic. The crawling mechanic, maybe? The mechanic of, of uh, latching onto the... Um, ah. Latching onto the pegs. That's the, that's the, the thing that really is going on. Oh, and the enemy boost, yeah. The port? Yeah, uh, I actually have that as an emote. Oh, you have? I think it's Sid's my- face at the bottom left is an emote? Yeah, I think it's my tier two emote. We'll find time, I'll find time to post it in chat at some point. Oh baby, that is scary. So this is the, this is the part of the, this is the part of the level where I have to make a blind jump. So I'm gonna concentrate, die, and try it again. Concentrate and die again. If, if my practice is any indication, so here it is. So I have to go all the way to the right here, and then I have to blindly grab this enemy, then jump. <laughs> Alright, we made it. So yeah, if I miss that cycle, then there's not enough time to get back on there. No! I died anyway. They stole the Klonoa engine, that's amazing. Oh. Uh, yeah, I, I gotta go check. I'm not completely sure they did, but I need... Like, there's information about where everything came from, and I'd say at least they stole the Klonoa ideas. See, I should have done the research. Had this game actually just gotten accepted and I had actually practiced, then I would have done this research. But now I'm, we're doing it off the cuff right now, which is fine, actually. <laughs> I was hoping I wouldn't die in any of the auto-scrollers, so I decided I'd die four times in auto-scrollers instead. There's no GBC Klonoa. the GBA? I mean, I would probably say that uh, what they might have done is try to take Klonoa from GBA to GBC. Yeah, that's uh, a pretty Because fun. apparently the cutscenes that are from Ice Age uh, that you see in here are taken from Ice Age for Game Boy Advance. Oh, and so, yeah, so it's a D-make. Yeah, that's pretty common. That's not like an unusual thing. Not too surprising, yeah. Uh, I was gonna say the number of Donkey Kong Country D makes for NES. Oh, oh my gosh, they're all like, amazing. <laughs> they're all so good. They're all so bad. <laughs> oh my goodness. I um, do love your little dance though when you take the key to the final door. It's so good. Oh yeah, you, you, you like you like strut out. It's kind of like this one. You kind of like strut out like you're you're all that. Oh yeah, well you you wiggle your butt. It's good stuff. I clicked out of the screen for a second there. I did not have control of my boy. So 
that's an interesting. Okay, uh, apparently the sound engine for the game was from Kadume Monsters. I don't know what that is. Uh, but the engine itself is one that they created, uh, likely taking the ideas from Klonoa for Game Boy Advance and uh, trying to get them to work on this. Alright, so the most dangerous part of this level is now over, so we can kind of coast a little bit. Shout out to Automod. <laughs> oh, Automod, you are my favorite. <laughs> Uh, it never, never, never fails to. So yeah. So this is. Uh, so, as I mentioned before, like the strat in these auto scrollers is just to stay as high up on the screen as you possibly can. This is one of the ones where it's super important because it's a very tall ledge coming up that you have to jump onto. But then every once in a while, the game will betray your trust and just absolutely bait you into going high and then killing you because it will be like you have to go back down somehow or there's like a wall or whatever. And How is the music this aggressively bad? This it's is so this is, bad. This is definitely the worst music in the game. The fourth auto scroller, which is also really difficult, has some really pretty good music actually. But yeah, so this is the this is the the, the jump you have to make here, or else you're stuck. It's just dumb how many like jumps you have to get just perfect during the auto scrollers. Yeah, like be especially because one. It goes so slow, and two, you know, people are going to dink around. I would absolutely play a uh, D make of Harvester, by the way. It's an inspired idea. Ooh. Yeah, all of the I music's don't know what inappropriate. That is. Harvester, uh, um, it's a really strange horror game for the PC. Ooh. Uh, okay. It's, okay. Gotcha. It's sort of in the in the general like in the general like phantasmagoria sort of like family of games yeah right. okay i i got gotcha. not, not, not quite pg friendly but very interesting nonetheless oh anyway. this stream uh, i don't know is it gonna be pg all the time no this is not no, pg at we've all we've got right right to hell retributions coming up right to hell retribution yeah and that's sort of the opposite of pg yeah but yeah but harvester is very much like it's an r-rated like I, I don't even I don't know like if you want to ex I want to explain or not but it's it's uh, there are some there's some very <laughs> do you interesting... want do you want to explain the gore during Sid the sloth the his sloth. adventures through Ice Cube Land? Oh, I have one health left now suddenly, which is uh, very scary. But we're right at the end of the level here, so we're just oh, gonna... good. Uh, nothing happens if you collect all the groupies. Uh, if you get ninety, you get an extra life. Uh, extra and lives are meaningless in this game because game overs do nothing because there are no checkpoints in any level and every level like every level clear gets saved. Ooh, it's really laggy right now. Um, oh my gosh, so much lag. Is it your ice cube? You need the ice cube though, right? I needed that ice cube. So the, the ice cube was causing lag there, yes, because any animation basically causes lag. Don't get hit, don't get hit. Whatever you do, don't get hit. It's my don't get hit song. Oh, I like it. It's a classic. I could just imagine being Cosby. You know? <laughs> don't, don't get, get hit. hit. Yes. Don't get hit. Wait. Or what about... Ooh, 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 ooh. How about this? How about this? Hey, don't get hit. Yeah. <laughs> my name's Bob Dylan. Little Dylan, Don't yeah. get hit. Uh, yeah, to go. answer to answer the question, uh, so this game is uh, my PB is 48 minutes and change, and 24 minutes of that is auto scrolling. So there there are there are three seven minute auto scrollers. One that I already have skipped, and this one we're right at the end of. Why did Gual do this? Gual why did I Why did I submit fault. this? I I don't know why. Did it get accepted as a backup? No, it was, it was, I get, apparently, from what I understand, it was like the number one rejected game. It was just straight up rejected. So this is wait, seven like, minutes. Wait, wait, wait. So, like, everybody said no? Wait, I might have reviewed this. Let me see. Possible. <laughs> Let me, because it's not so, a, I wrote no. Oh, yeah. No is definitely the correct answer. I even thanked you guys for rejecting it. And then somehow 
It's still got accept. I'm still playing it right now as we speak. You know, if Kowal reviewed this submission and then uni unilaterally decided. I don't think it was unilateral. If he Woo! unilaterally decided. <laughs> I don't think it was. <laughs> unilaterally decided. I'm gonna read his comments about why this was rejected. I beat it. I beat the level. <laughs> Holy cow. All right. Oh yeah. Oh, Holy yeah. cow. All right. So this is a really bad. Uh, so this, these, we can actually see one of the bosses now. Oh, I actually missed a cycle here. Now we're back, so I can just do the original strat that I have here. There we go, and now we have six health, and we're going to stage three. Ooh, stage. So here's world three. World three is the best world in the game. Um, you'll find out why in a little bit. Say hi to the shark. It's a very, very good enemy, the shark. Oh, I love it. So, this is one of those fun uh, levels where you get a, a you, you they teach you a mechanic, uh, a, a mechanic, a brand new mechanic. This mechanic right here, that's the only time it's ever used in the whole game, right there. The little twisty dude. Did we say hi to the shark? Thank you guys. Saying hi to the shark, that was really nice. This guy, Mr. Acorn Man here, that's, uh, that's a health refill. And there are extra lives and stuff in this in this game, but they're not useful. Alright, so we're going down here. Actually, I think I need... No, I can't grab you. So, this is okay, another... You... <coughs> mm -hmm. As long as Kowal isn't too angry about it, I feel like I do need to read what he said. <laughs> as long as Kowal is okay with it, I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> Because usually we don't tell people exactly what others said. <laughs> uh oh. Spoiler, this game is for Ideas 3. Alright. I forgot where the, uh, I forgot where the key was. Where's the key in this game? It's around here someplace. Oh, I know. I remember where. I'm a silly Billy. I'm a silly goose. Hold on. It's right there. No. Silly goose. They're, they're everywhere. Alright, so we're gonna grab Especially him. right here. Thanks for the good luck, Gilded. Alright. So we're gonna go through this temporarily opening door. And then down there, here we go, we did it. What is this game? This is a Chinese bootleg. There's the key. And so, unfortunately, that door above closed. So we have to go around and do the entire level over again. That is not a joke. No! Why? Why? Oh, like, it happened. No, I knew why? it. I knew it. Alright, so every once in a while, this, uh, that frog that's normally there doesn't spawn, so you have to actually make the, to make the jump. Okay. Oh, and now, so it, and now do, it spawned. <laughs> okay, there we go. Yeah? I do want you to know that there was one person who really wanted this. There was one person, aka Kowal, who really did not want this. <laughs> And one person who was like, I don't know. So I, I, I suppose, yeah, you are pretty much at the top of the uh, the the barely rejected list, is what Oof. I'd say. I was so relieved when I saw that this got rejected, and then now I have to play it anyway. And then... <laughs> you were relieved? I was. This game is really hard. <laughs> My other, the other two games I have in this marathon are not nearly this difficult. Oh, I messed up. Yeah, he said, I'm positive this has been submitted and shot down in previous marathons. Oh, probably. I have I have a lot of problems with this. <laughs> <laughs> <He's>, <laughs> oh my gosh. I have to oh, grab perfect. I have to keep I remember to grab okay, hold on. We're having we're having some issues right now, but it's we're we're figuring it out together here. Grab you. That's just okay. Any, I'm not reading it anymore. That that's yeah, yeah, that's, that's fine. pretty much. <laughs> Bona, point is, we're so we're so efficient now that we we're resorting to bonus games. Yeah, and, uh, so unfortunately, I know that. 
you know, we're ahead of time. We'll be a little bit behind time after this one. But then, I don't know, by the time morning rolls around, we might be way ahead of... I don't know. We're going to find out. Bro, yeah. We'll make up more yeah, time. Yeah, GDQ. GDQ, this is I... your chance, okay? If you're watching this. <laughs> I'm not submitting this to GDQ. <laughs> Are you sure? Uh, yes. Okay. Oh, the shark! Oh, I say hi to the shark again. He's back. He's back with a brand new invention. Called being a shark. The adventure of being a shark. That's great. Alright. I have a lot of problems with it. I do too! I, I, uh... So, I, I completed this game not long after... Um, so I have to wait for this rotating platform. It's not coming back. So I completed this game not long after I got it in Cusa Grande last year. Because um, there, no, there was no clear video on the internet that I could find, so I figured I'd provide it myself because I got pretty far in the game. Um, and so I beat it, and then I didn't think about it for about a year, and then BBG submissions came back up, and I went, well, maybe I'll just learn, I'll secretly learn this speedrun and secretly submit it and not tell anybody about it. And so that way, if it doesn't get in, no harm, no foul. Which is what happened. I was very happy about this. Yeah, you know what? Uh, even Kowal was kind of thinking about having this, uh, per what I saw. But if I had a chance to review this game, I would have said, no, I don't care. We're not having Ice Age in a marathon. Uh, and now all my friends are yelling at me for doing this. Because I didn't tell any yeah. of them. <laughs> <laughs> Your friends are yelling at you? Yeah, they're, they're in like, chat Why? yelling at me. What have you done? Why are you so Why are so you the wrong? way you are? Uh, I don't know. I don't know why I do this to myself. <laughs> like everybody watching, you have to just try playing this game. You don't understand, okay? You don't understand how, like, incredibly difficult literally everything is. And then when you get good at stuff, how boring it is. <laughs> <laughs> like that, I think that's the biggest sin of this game. That as soon as you can play it well, it it's kind of a slog. It is, it, it, especially because the 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 auto scrolls are just challenging enough that you have to pay attention, but not interesting enough to keep your attention. And so you just end up making dumb mistakes like not looking at your health. Yeah. Uh, game. Well, I mean, it does. Do you even have a sound when you take damage? Yeah, you, it's like a bl bloink. All right, so this is the best auto scroller uh. in the game because Ooh. there uh, it's, it's, two it's two minutes and I don't have to do anything, so I'm not I'm not touching the controller right now. So I'm gonna type my uh, my Sid emote in chat here. There it is. So if you want that, I think it's a tier two emote, and I, I don't remember anymore. Okay, it's got decent music. You don't have to do anything. This is the kind of game that I could play. Mm -hmm. You know, I love those games that play themselves. Remember to hydrate, everybody. Yeah. Oh my gosh, where's my water? water. Got some water, got some Drink coffee it. here. And so we have a sloth this sleeping is, on a mammoth like, right now. Are you actually able to do stuff in this stage? Oh, if you jump, you die. There's no reason to do any of it. There's like Wait, an extra. There's, a, there's like an extra life. See how slowly the sloth is going and like the the mammoth is going, and and yes. how how like variable the speed is. If you try to jump and stay on there, most of the time I, I've tried, I just end up uh, stopping short and just falling off the map. Yeah. You're not gonna be able to land. You don't though. want that. Yeah, it's very hard to land, and all you can get is collectibles that give you lives and lives that give you lives, and you have infinite lives in this game, so it makes no difference. They bother to do an idle. Yeah, there is an idle animation. He's sleeping. He's a sleepy boy. <laughs> Honestly, I wouldn't be able to tell that that was Sid just looking at this. Like, yeah, the mammoth. Great, it's a mammoth, but what is that lump on top of him? <laughs> it's sleeping. I can figure that much out. Oh, boy. Do, 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 do. So this is literally it for a while. I mean, it's all it should be almost be done actually. It's much shorter than the other three uh, auto scrollers. 
I think it's like two minutes long. And it stops very abruptly. And then, uh, and then you have a third boss. Which I think is like a cougar oh, or baby. something. A tiger or something. Maybe a puma. A puma. Bangs. To click back on. Alright, we're here. We made it. I believe I have control of Sid. Here. So it's this boy. You wake him up, and you... Aw, uh, okay, I like this saber tooth tiger thingy. Lion? Saber tooth cat. He's kitty. Oh. Yeah, he's kinda cute when he's sleeping. Why is it? Less flying? so when he's trying to murder you, you know? Alright, so now we are on World War. World four. We're almost done. I heard this World is... War, and I'm like, I hope we're not on that. No. You well... don't remember that scene from Ice Age. Oh boy. <laughs> Oh yeah, the classic World War scene. Y'all remember that? Maybe it was in one of the later sequels. I mean, who knows? Know, there were only what fifty of them. I don't know. I've only saw the. I don't know, I ever saw the first one. Um. Oh my gosh. Well, the first one's bad, but it's at least the best of all of them. Yeah, I agree with that. That it's bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, Diego. Like, okay, it just kill him off. Let me go ahead and yeah, these are controversial words, but you don't need to do a Disney death. Your your dream works, okay? You can actually kill a character off and it's going to be fine, you know? It's fine for kids to cry. It's good for kids to cry. It's kids, healthy. you better be crying. Healthy to cry. Work those tear ducts. It's important. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, if you don't, tear ducts are gonna get clogged. Then what? Your eyes swell up. It's weird. Just just <laughs> cry, children. Lots of lots of snot and whatnot. Wait, what? <laughs> you snot up when you cry, you know. Not in something. your eyes. Well, no, you don't snot. You, you, so there's like, so you, have, <laughs> you have, so you have like eyes to see, and then you have like the, the the smelly one, the one where you smell with, and sometimes it gets a little snotty when you cry. The, the nose, nose. We, we call that the nose, and where I'm from, I don't know about you. Okay, yeah, I'm glad you know what a nose is. <laughs> I I am distracted from the fact that I have no idea where I'm going. <laughs> I, I haven't, because I haven't played this level in two months. And it's Kowal's fault. Hashtag, exclamation point blame in chat. No, no, my sister's kids love Ice Age and watch it whenever they go on road trips. Well, if I ever go on a road trip with all of you, I am not riding in your car. <laughs> because, oh, I, oh, I hate Ice Age so much. Find the, we're, we're going on a, we're going on an excursion to find the key, y'all. Let's find the key together. I like those one-way oh, right doors, you know, as uh, as existed back in the day, you know, like 65 million BC. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, the one-way doors. Well, well, same with the the musket rifles that existed back then too. Took them a little bit longer to invent, you know, the two-way door. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so we're back. I found the key now. Now all we have to do. Let's, let's just sit here and listen to this grinding noise for a second. Just breathe it in. Oh, that's so good. All right, I'm finished the level now. Why was there grinding? The grinding noise means that you've opened up a door. There we go. All right, 4-2. Oh. But why did it last so long? It goes on for forever, right? As long as you're within the sight of the, of the, uh, of the, this thing. So this, this guy right here. Now you can hear it again. The, the I fun would call it a noise. switch, but it's more like the mystical orb of Ice Age. Ah, uh, orbs. Everyone's favorite. Let's see if I can remember. No, what to do never here. say that again, okay? <laughs> orbs are cursed because this of. This is the fastest Yeti in the world. There we go. Aww. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know why that particular Yeti is not affected by lag whatsoever. He just zooms around at 50 trillion miles an hour. Okay, but isn't Ice Age, like, supposed to be based off of actual history? Like, I don't know about that. sloths existed, and mammoths existed, and, uh, you know, Neanderthals existed. No. All of them existed. What about the Yeti? Those don't even, no, no, okay, I live in Bigfoot country, but they're all nerds, okay? <laughs> they're way too obsessed with their giant 
carry men. Ugh. <laughs> Urban Yeti wishes he's as fast as the fastest Yeti. I have to wait for this, because that's an instant death pit. I actually have a professor who was on the show Finding Bigfoot for one episode. That's incredible. Oh my god, I, I love that I, so much. Oh my gosh, it was so good. <laughs> Let's see, she, she was the expert, and the funny thing is that uh, she actually is an expert because she 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 does folklore at the university. Oh, okay. Yeah, and she's actually and, actually qualified to be on that show. That's excellent. Yeah, she's actually qualified. She has multiple papers. I'm not sure any of them are about uh, Bigfoot, but lots of lots of credentials. She's awesome. We have like the the big one of the biggest folklore archives uh, in the nation at our university. Like it. It's great. And also, we've got people here who believe in Bigfoot. I saw a Bigfoot silhouette just the other day, like, at, by someone's house. I'm like, wow, they're so dumb. <laughs> <laughs> We're on a hunt I'm for the sorry, key. Sorry, if anybody here way. believes in Bigfoot, it's oh, okay. You can believe though. what you want. I suppose. It's true. You, you are allowed to believe what, what, what whatever you'd like. It's true. I'm not going to get in your way. I have a shirt that I'm says also allowed to have opinions about oh. people who believe what they want. <laughs> I think the I think the key might be here. Now that now that we're just chit-chatting and we're actually trying to do runs properly, let's we found the key. All right, let's actually find the exit. This is Heck the last yeah. this is the last non-auto scroller non-boss level. Wait, 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 wait. Are you serious? So do we have one auto scroller and one boss and then we're done? One auto scroller, one boss and then a boss rush. Oof, I'm glad I didn't die there. <laughs> I'm in a boss rush. This is a Mega Man. So there's a boss rush, and the boss rush is all the bosses from the game in order, with no more difficulty. They still all take three hits, and then a final boss that's just as easy as the rest of the bosses. Oh, uh, well, perfect. You know, that's what I want in my bootlegs. All right, 4-3. Come this on, is... wiggle your butt. So this is the best music in the entire game, in my opinion. And that's okay, what makes let this... Me, let me listen. And that's what makes this uh, auto scroller bearable to me. This is like I'm walking down the street and giving people high fives and twirling my cane. <laughs> Carnivals in town kind of thing. Yeah, let's all go to the carnival and pretend that we're not frozen and dead. Oh, yeah. You know, that that's sort of how it is. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, yeah. You know, all things considered, this run has gone pretty well. <laughs> I mean, got lost a couple we times. We only had to cheat once, right? Yeah, it was one save state sitch, but that's okay. I could have done it. I just yeah. didn't want to. <laughs> this uh, this game also has the uh, the fun thing of like, wait, is that background or is that a platform? Because these things are not platforms. But then the earlier in the game, there's a, there are these clouds that look like background that are absolutely platforms. Yeah, that's another thing with bootlegs. Oh, wait, 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 wait. There was something that I was going to say earlier. Uh, I do appreciate bootlegs. I do appreciate uh, other countries who, you know, don't have copyright laws sort of taking advantage of that. I, I'm completely okay with that. You know, oh, if, yeah. if it was fine where they are, then great. They had a job. Uh, one fascinating thing about bootlegs is that a lot of them break the rules of common sense that you see in video games, even back in the NES and Super Nintendo era, uh, even though a lot of them had problems, there was still video game logic that went behind them. And while there's some logic in bootlegs, a lot of the times they skip conventions, you know? Like, hey, there's a really difficult jump. Uh, you know, or do you have to do it uh, pixel perfect odds are, yeah, yeah. Or, or there are some jumps that you just can't make, but the game makes it look like you can. And, yeah. uh, you know, some of them are uncompletable or sometimes pa platforms despawn uh, because you had, you killed too many enemies, you know? That actually happens in at least one bootleg I know of uh, that makes levels incompletable if you kill too many bad guys. And it's so fascinating and fun. 
Yeah, this level, like, this game does have the, the despawn like. issue as well. It's definitely a sprite limit problem that causes despawns. Yeah, but that that's sort of why I really love bootlegs. A lot of them do end up with a lot of problems, but whenever they create their own engine or create a game that's actually completable, even if it is a little tedious, they still put a lot of work into this. And I just point out this this platform right above me, had I actually kept going up those slanted pegs and landed on there, I'd die because I get locked in. So oh, that, yeah, was, that was also... them betraying your trust right there for sure. Yeah. There, there are a few NES games that I can think of, uh, like the, oh, I don't remember, the weird mafioso game. Not the Goldo? Godfather, but... Golgo 13? No, no, it was made in the U.S. It's based off of a movie. Uh, oh, The Untouchables. Undesirables. The Untouchables. Untouchables, yeah, 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 yeah. Kevin Costner. Uh, that, that has some things that, if you just choose the wrong direction... Uh, there's no hope you're going to die. <laughs> but most companies, by the time the Nintendo came around, they realized that people don't like that, you know? Yeah. They they like to be able to get out of a situation if they put themselves in a bad situation. Uh, yeah. <laughs> the legs, though, rarely took that into consideration. They're like, you know, if you manage to play through the game and, you know, it doesn't suddenly glitch out and warp you to the very end you know we're happy we're happy can i just point out a really great comment in chat it's only a bigfoot if it's found in the pacific northwest otherwise it's just a sparkling yeti false uh false <laughs> i'm in utah <laughs> it's bigfoot you guys you guys are honorary pacific northwest cal yeah, i'm california i'm from california we're also we honorary just pacific northwest. say that we're from everywhere okay utah is part of the northwest and the west and the southwest and maybe even the mid what are you doing I died it's fine do we want to skip to the end or we have some time right i can i can i have another shot at this right we're good i uh, skip to the end i needed to i needed to uh no i look i needed to get back on that peg and then i didn't because i'm bad at the game and then i died how long how do you how deep were we into that how deep were we into that uh, auto scroller? Was that like five minutes? Minutes, minutes. Uh, let, do I have it? Do I have a later? I do have. I think I have a later save state. I don't remember. Oh, please have a later save state. <laughs> mm, no, 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 I think this is, is probably as late as it goes. If we have to, if we have to cut it, we have to cut it. It's not a big deal. I'm not. I'm not gonna take offense. Uh, but we'll uh, we'll keep trying here. Oh yeah, I was gonna mention like yeah, a lot of the uh, like the ingenious like a lot of the times you have to they have to do a lot of really clever things to be able to demake these like much more complicated games onto like simpler platforms, like demaking a GBC and GBA game onto GBC or a SNES game would be better if I could. Um, I can try. Yeah, yeah, I think Kowal is kind of in agreement with me. So this, I think this is 4-2, so I don't... Let, let me see if I can go forward or not. No, all right. That's that's basically it. So now we can't even get to 4-3 again. So I think we're good. We did it. We did it. GG, everybody. You guys saw 99% of the game, so I'm not I'm not, uh, I'm not. not upset about that at all. I mean, um, we saw everything except for the final boss, right? Yeah, so the, the boss the boss rush is all the four bosses that you saw before, and then... GG! Oh, GG! All right, 47 minutes. That would be world record technically. Uh, but yeah... Uh, oh my god. That's basically you no. get world record. There you go. Uh, my no, PB is like That's what I'm saying. World record. My PB is 48 minutes. So The fastest we've ever had staff <laughs> shut you down. <laughs> <laughs> Took us 47 minutes, but we got there. All right. Uh, well, I'm I'm glad I'm glad y'all enjoyed. I hope you guys enjoyed that. That was uh interesting doing that off the cuff, but uh uh, I, I'll be back later in this marathon, and so will Brocentra, in fact. Um, and, uh, yeah, that's uh, that'll do it uh, for me, and I'll see y'all in chat. Uh, enjoy Punchy's runs. Yay, Punchy!